It's ironic because air conditioning is both a problem and a solution to climate change. Last year, during a heat wave in Seattle, 1,500 hospitalizations happened due to heat stroke. And so over the next 30 years, as the world gets hotter, cooling will become the largest single use of electricity in buildings. The amount of power they consume, but also the use of harmful refrigerants has such a big impact on climate. Transera is developing a new class of high efficiency, affordable air conditioners that don't harm the planet. I spend a lot of time outdoors with my family, my young son, so I love taking my son to school and catching up with him. And we often play this game called the AMA, Ask Me Anything. So questions that he has on his mind, like why is the sky blue? <laughs> well, it's really interesting to seeing him explore the world and seeing his mind evolving. Bye, from the early days, I knew I was gonna be an electrical engineer. I think a lot about what can I do to improve things. It's sort of what keeps me going. My mind needs to work on solving a problem. Teaching at MIT is a wonderful experience. I'm teaching mechanical engineering students how to design things with very limited resources. We source problems, whether it's water filtration or generating power, and then guide them through the process of designing a product to solve that problem. I love working with students there. After my master's degree, I spent some time in India. I was looking for problems to solve. In Delhi, I had a staff member who was complaining about being too hot at night, and I happened to have one of those window air conditioners laying around. I said, look, just take it. A few weeks later, when I saw her again, I said, how do you like that air conditioner? She kind of looked at me sheepishly and said, uh, we're not using it, it's too expensive to run. So that right there made me understand how difficult it is for people to afford air conditioning. After coming back from India, I met my co-founder, Professor Mircha Dinka, who was working on a new class of materials that I quickly understood could make a big difference in air conditioning. That's how Transera got started. All air conditioners perform two functions, cooling and dehumidifying. What we do at Transera, we separate the two functions and we take care of the dehumidification part with these new materials. The materials are like sponges. It absorbs that moisture, it becomes saturated and it can no longer absorb. Well, all air conditioners have heat. We take some of that heat and we put it into the material and we dry it and we get it ready for the next cycle. We can use the material to do the dehumidification part. That leaves the other parts to do only the cooling of the air. That reduces the power consumption nearly in half. What's interesting about this technology is that it can apply to any kind of air conditioner, but also not necessarily increase the cost of the appliance. It still looks the same and acts the same, but in the background, it's doing things in a completely different way, in a much more efficient way. For the startup, there's always a lot of hard work, a lot of failures, but when we have something to celebrate, take a few moments to acknowledge our success and then get ready for the next milestone. The big vision for us is to get this into the hands of a billion people. Over the next 30 years, we believe that this technology can eliminate two gigatons of CO2 emissions. We can avoid half degree of global warming. That's pretty amazing. You know, it's not my generation that's gonna solve this climate change problem, it's gonna be the future generations. My son knows about energy efficiency. He's only seven, and, and that's very inspiring to me because I would love for him to grow up to understand the limited resources that we have as a planet. The best innovations don't require a whole lot of behavioral change. This air conditioner will fit exactly into the lives just the way today's air conditioner fits in. Technology is performing the work in the background. The only thing you'll notice is a much lower electricity bill. My name is Sorin Grama and I'm CEO of Transera.